hello hello i have some really cool custom content stuff that i want to show you that is also base game and i mean it's awesome now the thing about this is that because there are a few that are actually big items the more big items you put on a lot custom content can actually cause your game to become buggy so i'm only going to show you a few but i mean they are really nice guys oh my goodness oh my goodness okay so this one is by winter edge 22 and if you want to download it you just this one right here this is so awesome guys oh wait before i can download anything because i just opened my game back up i need to have move objects off okay so you go testing cheats true make sure you do this before you download custom content okay bb dot move objects on because a lot of times when they they when they create custom content they have to do it with that cheat feature so it, it's just best that you make sure you have that on so this particular item this fountain so one of them is for like a business and in the other one there's another one just like it but it is for a residential lot so if you see that item and it says that you can't download it on this type that's because you're on the wrong one Oh, I might have went too far. Hang on. Okay, so this fountain, I think it's Summer's, in, oh, here it is right here. So this one that doesn't show this, okay, but it does work. So this one's just a, it's just a different screenshot is all it is. This is what this is going to look like, okay. So this one you can download. Remember, you're not going to see the water until you download it. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here by this pool because, let's see. Now, when you line it up, see where the wall is? You want to make sure that wall is inside that green circle when you line it up. Okay. Okay. Give it a few seconds and then left click. Okay. And now I'm going to go after one more item that is going to be so perfect right next to that. And this one, <clears throat> unless you have this pack right here, you're not, I mean, you're just not going to, um, some of the things be missing, but there's so many really pretty flowers and stuff that you can upsize downsize whatever that's on oh dear that's not good oh fiddly d that's upside down Aww. oh well fooey let's see if i can move that sometimes it says that that's okay it just means it's removing the flowers so i'm going to go ahead and move this There we go. And then left click. Ta-da. Okay. And then I'm going to show you something. There's this bed and it is really funny. If you want a fully, fully functional bed, meaning the blankets and everything, then you're not going to want to use this. But this item right here, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I downloaded this into one of the bedrooms. So underneath this bed, this is something that she just literally took a whole bunch of tiny little parts and put together. So underneath this bed, there's a teeny tiny little bed. She used like a, a, a mod tool or something like that. So underneath it, you got to click on that tiny little bed. Now that what the Sims will do is they'll come up to this bed and they will like motion and make movements in the air like they're moving the covers to get under the covers right and but there's no covers so these covers or whatever they're not functional <clears throat> and underneath the bed if you look like the they'll like they'll be laying still on the bed and underneath the bed on the 
the blanket will be all moving around and stuff on the teeny teeny tiny little bed that's underneath this while they're just laying still it's kind of funny it's really funny so if you want something just for fun and kicks you know then this is this is a good item because it's really cute but if you're wanting something that's actually a functional bed where they can act, actually get under covers then that's not going to be for you now if you're somebody that maybe has a pack that you could put a blanket on top of it that's functional then whatever you know might work differently so i'm not going to go ahead i'm not going to download this one just because um well it is what it is i tested it out and i showed you this is j-a-n-s-c-h 587 so you might want to write that down okay so this item here is really cute and it does have the sit function so i haven't had my sim try it out but as far as i know it works and so like you can put that maybe somewhere over here I'm gonna create like this little romantic area So there's that and then there's another item that I just find to be so adorable oh my goodness and it's this oh my goodness I love 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 this right I'm like sure I line that up right it's so cute and it lights up also how cute is that Oh my goodness. Now, as far as this pool, you can just add flowers, you know, but it's even without the, the romantic pack stuff, that is adorable. That is a really cute pool. So look at that. How adorable. That'd be really cute for like wedding venues. And so let me go ahead and get out of this. And so you can see the sit function is working. See, it says sit. Now, I haven't tried it. doesn't mean that they're actually going to agree with you that they can sit there. <laughs> now, watch this fountain. Watch. Ah, I love that. Oh, my goodness. Winter's Edge is just... And so, putting this, like, right here is so perfect. So, I downloaded this house. And whoever did this, this pool did a fantastic job. Unfortunately, the toddler pool is not working because... I don't have the packs that came with it, so all I see is, like, water. So, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Unfortunately. Anyways, where's the water? There was water there. Now it's gone. So, I'm probably going to redo this thing right here. Um, so, this had a bunch of packs, but it, it did... What I'm going to do with this house... I just want you to know also, by the way, because I'm going to have this finished probably by tomorrow. I have changed the color of it. I'm doing a purple theme because the month of June is an Alzheimer's awareness. And so I'm doing purple theme. I'm going to put a lot of purple into this house. Um, a lot of purple, like purple painting, purple just decorations. And it's just just for the Alzheimer awareness which this is the month of June. Their, their ribbon for Alzheimer awareness is purple. So I thought the stone and this purple together, I thought it looked really pretty, but that's why I changed the color. It wasn't because it didn't look good already. Anywho, um, I love this little sunroof right here. So I did have to add, I added some, I did have to put new windows and door on it. And there's, a, and so like whatever was right here is, is like no longer there but that's okay because i'm going to work on this house and make it mine right because a bunch of stuff was removed and not substituted a bunch of stuff was substituted but it's still a nice looking house it's a good build i especially love this little horse barn right here that that um she created that is just beautiful and i do have a horse on this lot this is one of my lots that has a horse on it that is just really cute and this is almost an island. This is 64 by 64 lot. It is um, the get together pack. And it's there's two 64 by 64 lots. I love the pack that I got just for those two lots alone. For the be that big and the ocean nearby. It's such a beautiful located world. What a great job that she did on this pool. I am just so 
very pleased with this download. It, it did say rock pool, but the pictures on the thumbnail of, of the uh, thing on the gallery did this house no justice. And I'm telling you, and it was just uploaded today. Um, so she did use the Riviera pack and she did a fantastic job in so doing. And I love what she did with these colorful lights. I don't even know where you get those, but that just, that just works so well. And so to download this custom content firework fountain right behind it, man, I'm just so pleased. So pleased. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this game and not save any of this because this is not where I want this located. I'm just showing this. Okay, I am going to be keeping this year and this year. Um, I'm probably going to put this somewhere else and put this somewhere else. But I just wanted to show these items and I, I want you to know that I'm going to be doing a few videos. Why is my violin in the pool? What in tarnation? <laughs> I don't even know. Hang on a second. But I'm going to be showing off a whole bunch of custom contents. I have like dug and dug and dug to find custom content stuff. And um, yeah. I don't know what happened to this pool. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It had water. And now it just kind of looks like it has water because of the bubbles. Which is really weird. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know. But... I will get this fixed. It's not a problem. But she did a really good job on this house. So if you have more packs than I do, you then this house will be even better for you. Because I have the horse ranch pack. I have the get together pack. Mm, I have the cats and dogs pack. And that's pretty much it. I have like the Riviera kit. Campers. Little campers kit. Um, I have the, the bloom. The bloom the plants kit or whatever this is free by the way now you might want to grab that while you still can in fact it, I'm not even sure if it's still available because I think it's only for May so you might want to grab that today if it is still available and um then I have like the kids room stuff pack or something like that yeah and that's it so this did use a lot of packs so it had 700 items removed and 320 some was substituted so a lot of things was not so basically it was like mostly like the paint on the walls which i'm going to repaint it anyways because you know and the windows which i'm using mostly cat and dogs pack windows so this would probably it's not going to be base game house because i am using some pack stuff in it but the structure itself the roof and just the way that it's built, all that should be base game. I mean, it, it survived me having very little packs. Like, nothing was affected. I mean, it substitute. It was able to keep the structure. I mean, if you download something, you don't have the packs. Most, they can substitute it. That looks kind of blue at night, but I promise you, without this turned on, it's, it's not blue. It's purple. I don't know if you can turn this off. Or whatever but I it's so pretty though golly gee let me turn this pause this um anyways but this is a really nice house and um it's unfortunate about the kitty pool though if you're not somebody with a bunch of packs just do be prepared that you're going to have to what on earth do be prepared <laughs> why is my camera going over here do be prepared that you're going to have to replace stuff what on earth like, I can't even go to where my Sims are. There's something really weirds going on. This has been going on for a while. Oh, that's a cute house. Look whose house that is. Oh, that's my house. <laughs> that indeed is my house. I downloaded... I, while I'm here, let me show you this one too. Now, this is base game. This is totally base game. I, and so, I downloaded this one. Um, so, I also downloaded another one. And uh, now this one, wait a minute. No, this one's not base game, but it only removed a few items. It's pretty much, it's close to base game. That's really cute too. And so then I have another house over, but on another one that I downloaded yesterday. And it is totally base game and really, really cute. But I wanted a big house because I have multiple, I have like seven Sims and a horse. And yeah, anyways. And this beach house. Because I had this lot 
I had two houses on it. Two families and two houses. That's how big this lot is. 64. And it had plenty of room for a lot of outdoor stuff. I had... Anyways, I had a floating house. Okay. And underneath the floating house was a dance floor. Big, huge dance floor. I had a lot of get-togethers at that property. <laughs> at this property. But she did a really good job. And unfortunately, like a lot of this stuff that was taken because I didn't have the packs. I'm going to fill all of this in. I'm going to edit all this to where it's going to be just different stuff, basically. But that fountain is just so beautiful. I love that fountain. It's like fireworks type fountain. And and then this pool over here is just so adorable. I love heart-shaped stuff. Anyway, so that's it for this one. That is the custom content. And I have tons and tons and tons of custom content to show. But I wanted to do a few of the, the big items that I have tested that work to include that bed. And then there's a bunch of lot of little small stuff that I'm, I'm going to be trying and making sure that it works. Because I see in comments a lot of times people are like, does this work? Does this work? Does this work? You know, and all the custom content. So that's what I'm doing. I'm testing a bunch of stuff and then I'm going to show you. And if there's any like little, you know, issues on how to, you know, you have to do this to work it this way or whatever. I'm going to do a video so that if you're interested in that item, but this is so much, so much amazing stuff and custom content. Now I'm the custom content content that I'm going after is just rooms. Like I did get a house that I downloaded yesterday that had some custom content in it. Beautiful art, mostly just art. And it was just objects in the room and like paintings and stuff like that. Those are really easy to just take. Like somebody goes in and they take custom content and they'll put an inventory and then they'll put it in another house or whatever. And so you can like download houses and just take collect custom content that way but i'm specifically going after when you go to look for custom content you, i'm going after the person who makes custom content i'm not like clicking on rooms or clicking on houses i'm clicking on the person i'm i'm looking for the person that i have found a list of people who make stuff and some like three of those people on that list like i that either i wrote it down wrong or wasn't working and so some of the rooms it's an actual room and you might have to knock down the wall like the bed the bed that i showed you that canopy bed that has kind of comical that one has a little bit of a wall attached to it when you place it and then you just have to remove the wall and it's it's just that simple um but it worked just fine you know in the room except for it was funny because they don't have a cover and they're laying there in the bed tiny tent tiny bed underneath the blankets are all moving around and stuff anyways so, yeah, if you are interested in custom content, like, I don't have hardly any Simmer viewers. Like, my channel is just people, you know, that all the other type of stuff that I do on my channel. I do crochet. I do crafts. I do different types of gaming. And I've just recently started playing Sims. And so, I just don't have much Simmer exposure. So, I don't get that many views. But if I, if people are, show me that they're really interested, because this is time consuming. It's very time consuming to sit there and look through all, I mean, it's, I, it's a lot. It takes a lot of time to look for this stuff and then to test it and then, you know, to get it displayed so I can make these videos. I don't mind to do that, but I, I just want feedback if people are really interested or if there's specific things that you are interested in you know so that I can go shopping for you you know because I like you know I I like the the watch time and I, I want to kind of increase my sims community because um, I can't see smaller channels I only see bigger channels because that's how YouTube does their algorithm now that it maybe one or two out of like 50 Things that they show you suggestive feed are smaller channels and I hate that because I really like to see other simmers I've seen some simmers who do beautiful work and they they're just a tiny channel that gets hardly any views and it's like I want to like make connections with other simmers and especially if you do videos I want to see your videos because you know I like to get ideas like this is this is all still kind of new to me. I played last year for the first time ever. And I played for about two or three months. 
And so I've just started back up. So I still, you know, this game is so massive. There's so many things that you can learn. And my mo main focus is I do like to do activities, but I ba building, I like building, building and creating. That's my main thing. That's like my, my R and R that is my stress management, if you will. And I've got to get these Sims off to school. So please give me feedback and shout yourself out. If you are, you know, a simmer and do videos or whatever. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye. <laughs>